Hey, welcome to our channel. It's been a while since we've done a video. I think the last one we did, there was snow on the ground. So it's been a month, maybe two, since we've been out and did a video. And uh, one of the reasons was we, we had to do some upgrades to the Jeep. Uh, this is a Pennsylvania Jeep, a 1999. And uh, it has lots of issues, uh, rust issues. And so if you're familiar with the Northeast, you know they put salt out on the roads like you wouldn't believe. Well, this old girl's had some issues, and uh, it started here about a month and a half ago. I needed to change out that uh, steering knuckle on the passenger side. I ordered the part, and I, I tore that all off, opened up the box to find they sent me the wrong side. So, that being said, I figured, well, I'll just, I sent the old one back, ordered a new one for that side and in the meantime I knew I needed uh, differential seals inner differential seals and so I tore the differential apart replaced all the seals put new bearings in the differential up front made sure that was good and the steering knuckle came we got that all in and uh, <clears throat> so we began looking around see what else we might need to do and uh, I knew there was a somewhat of a hole underneath the front seat right there, my side. And I decided it was time to take a good look at it. So I tore the seat out, peeled all the carpeting off. And I don't know if you've ever done this, guys, but these things retain moisture with that carpeting like you wouldn't believe. And underneath my seat was a massive hole. I think I have a picture of it here someplace. I'll show it to you. So we needed to fix that. So I ordered a pan and I got that installed. And then I decided I was going to take the carpeting out of the whole Jeep, which I did. And uh, it's a good thing I did, I think. Uh, it was wet all the way to the back. While the passenger side the floor pan is good, the back was good, but it wasn't going to be if I'd let it go any, any much further. And then another thing, uh, while I was inside, I had everything torn out, all the carpeting. I had one of those headliners that would come down and bang you in the head a little bit, you know, just kind of irritate you. And we had thumbtacks holding this fabric up. And it was time to replace that. So we got that all done. And I'll show you this stuff here in just a second. And uh, instead of putting carpeting back in, I wanted to put something in that I could peel out easily and let this thing dry out if we we sometimes do a river crossing where water gets into the Jeep a little bit or maybe we're wheeling into some pretty heavy mud and stuff we've had times where we've had water inside and it just lingered in the carpeting so I wanted to put something down that would help with the noise a little bit help protect from the heat that comes up through the floorboard now and I found this stuff at uh, Home Depot really pretty cheap it's just uh, anti-fatigue matting it's about a half inch thick and I put it in there it looks pretty nice and I think it will do a pretty good job and if I need to in probably less than a minute I can have that out of there and uh, open the doors and let the thing dry out then I can vacuum all the crud out I also did some work up here in the front end too I'm going to show you that in just a second as well um, I wanted to put a second battery up here, but that also meant modifying where the airbox went. And so uh, I did that and I think it turned out pretty good. So uh, I'm going to grab the camera and just kind of walk you around here, show you what we've done and uh, take it from there. Well, here's what I did to the uh, front end here inside. I replaced my starter battery with an Optima and it seems to be doing very well. I put this little switch up here. It's, a, it's called a smart battery isolator. And what it does between these two batteries, it makes sure that this battery, this is the one that I power extra equipment with, like primarily this uh, 12,000 pound Badland. I'm gonna run it off of this winch, or this battery uh, when I need it. And when we're camping, if I have some extra lights I want to run 
we'll use this battery. And as this battery draws down and we start the Jeep back up, this isolator will not allow that battery over there, my secondary battery, to be charged until this battery, the starting battery, is fully charged. It's a pretty cool idea. That way you always know that you can get out. And uh, that's one of the reasons we put this in here too is sometimes I get ourselves into places we uh, may not be able to get out of real quickly. So having a backup battery is a good thing. So I moved my air box out of there. I bought this, uh, this little piece of aluminum was only I think it was only 25 bucks on Amazon and what it is <clears throat> is a uh, three inch uh, turbo exhaust for a uh, Nissan I think pretty cheap and these little black uh, heavy duty elbows they were about $15 each the most expensive thing on this was probably the air filter that goes in here. Uh, I had to build this little box a little bit just so the air filter could stick out of here. It goes in there straight. It's a K&N cone-shaped air filter. It's about an eight inch long. So it goes all the way up in here and hits the, uh, hits the end. I was concerned about water getting into this over here and uh, I've watched several rip-roaring thunderstorms and very little water gets over there so I'm not concerned about that at all it also uh, kind of acts like a snorkel now I mean if I get into water that's up over these batteries uh, that's a bad thing and <laughs> I will probably not get that far up but anyways I think it turned out pretty decent I also bought one of these little uh, air compressors that I mounted in here and so all I have to do is just connect it to this battery and I can run that uh, air compressor. It does pretty good. Pumps up pretty fast. Oh, and I wanted to tell you something else I found. Um, <clears throat> like many of you, one of your favorite places to go shop for stuff for these is a junkyard. And we have one nearby that's a pretty cool place. And uh, while I was down there, looking around at stuff i'm going to try and show you this down here i found this skid plate it came off of uh, another one of these i'd never seen one of those i'd heard about them but that thing's pretty heavy and uh it does a couple of things it protects the front end from hard digs and it also if i go flying through some mud it keeps a lot of it from flying up into the engine. So that's a pretty cool find. Always look under there when you're in the junkyard. You never know what you might find. That came in very handy. So walk around here to the back. Show you what we did to the inside. This is the, uh, the matting that I put in here. Very simple. Nothing fancy. Uh, it just comes out like that. Pretty easy. The back here I do have fastened down a little bit. Um, I will fill this entire area here with our gear before we take out on a trip. Also, you can look up there and you can see the, the uh, headliner we put in. Again, nothing fancy. It's not perfect, but it's not on your head. And that's the best part. So it turned out pretty good that way. And uh, <clears throat> in here is where we uh, put some of that rubber underneath here. Works out pretty good. Fits up underneath the console. Kind of takes up the space that the uh, carpeting did. I've moved my winch switch inside so I can just turn that on from in here and uh, hook the winch up, come back in here, turn that on, and then grab my uh, winch controller in here, and away we go. Well, we just wanted to do this quick little update to 
show you that we've been busy on this thing and we are going to get back out there and start doing some more videos I wanted to just bring you up to speed a little bit on that nothing fancy but just an overview of what we've done the last couple months on this little bit at a time here and there um, we think we're going down to uh, Bald Eagle State Park again State Forest excuse me wonderful place to ride we were down there last summer we have a few videos of that posted but there were a few trails that we missed and so we've had a lot of rain lately so I think we're going down in a couple weeks maybe next weekend and see what we can find see what kind of trouble we can get into so you should have a video coming out here pretty soon and then we'll uh, be back into the woods looking for places to go things to see the mountain laurel is going to be in full bloom up in our area here in a few weeks so you don't want to miss that uh, these are amazing old rigs this particular rig here used to be red until I had to buy a door for it and the door was white and I couldn't match anything to the red so I painted the whole thing green <laughs> so if you look back a few uh, we have some videos from uh, 2021 uh, we took this thing from Pennsylvania to Northern California and back. We put 9,000 miles on this in 31 days, and we videoed most of it. So if you have a chance and you want to get a bowl of popcorn, go check out some of those. I think they're in a playlist, uh, the West Trip maybe, and uh, I'll leave a link in the bottom here so you can check those out if you want to. Um, we might be showing you if you're interested and you want to see it uh, we can show you what we put in this thing for our trips we have a tent we have uh, chairs uh, things to cook with all kinds of recovery gear if you're interested in what we put in here there's quite a bit let us know we can uh, we could do a video on that too and uh, and let you know what we do so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll have one out here with some action in it pretty soon. Thanks for watching.